Let us hold unwaveringly to our confession that gives us hope, for he who made the promise is trustworthy. Today's reading from the letter of the Hebrews continues to express the difference that Christ makes, the greatness of this perfect high priest, the unprecedented yet prefigured access that Christ gives us to the divine. Today's reading talks about preparing ourselves to come near to Christ in worship. And notably, as we've just seen, this approach should not be a timid one, but rather one characterized by confidence. And why? Why should we be confident in our approach to God? We often like to talk about self-confidence, and that's a good thing. But confidence that simply resides in oneself is not confidence fully well placed. Or better put, self-confidence should always be contextualized and wrapped within our confidence in God. The confidence our reading discusses today helps us to remember this because it describes the confidence we need not as confidence in ourselves or our abilities or our worthiness to approach the divine. Rather, our confidence is ultimately in Christ. And we have confidence in Christ because, as our verse says, he is trustworthy. And I would note that because of who he is, truly God and truly human, he's trustworthy in a way that no one else can be. We often, and too often, forget the trustworthiness of God. We think that God is either angry with our failings, has unrealistic expectations of us, or just plain doesn't care. What Christ shows us is that all of those notions are false. God is merciful. God shows us how to live and gives us the grace we need to do so. And God cares for us and loves us infinitely. So let us today proceed as God calls us with our trust placed firmly in Christ.